Audi TT Mark I, the motorist car meet. On Sunday, I joined 85 other TTs up at the motorist in Sherborne and Elmet, just outside Leeds. After an early start and a meet up at South Mims, several of us convoyed up to the venue and we arrived just after 10 a.m. There were already a ton of TTs on site and here is my walk around of those cars. Apologies if I did not get to speak to you or catch your car on camera as lots of cars were coming and going all the time. A special thanks should also go to Jules Matthews for arranging this event. Top work Jules. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where today I am at the motorist just outside Leeds and it's a fabulous sunny day, fabulous Sunday, Father's Day and I'm blown away by the number of TTs that are here so I'm just going to give a quick look around. There were lots of other marks on display but we were by far and away the biggest contingent. But the ones we're interested in today are obviously all here. There are three rows of TTs. So I'm going to hand you back to my able assistant. So there are a mixture of roadsters, 3.2s, 225, 180s, coupes, whatever, you name it, it's here. Not seen any Quattro Sports yet, but I would imagine there are a few tucked away. So I'm going to take a look around, show you what's here. So let's start off with a rather rare green 225, I believe this is. Not one I recognise. Now, this one's got its bonnet open, I can see. I made the same mistake when I left this morning. I nearly ended up with a, a bonnet wrapped around my head on the M25. Now, we've got a green one here, and it's got people inside. Good morning. Good morning. Good. How are you getting on, all right? What a lovely car you've got here. 225, is it? Yeah. Java green. Java green, yeah. yeah. With your, I say that you're running 18 inch wheels, but they look much bigger. Yeah. Look much bigger. They are probably quite, quite wide, so yeah. to get the right ratio, it's gone to lower profiles, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So they're staggered on the back. They were okay. on it when I bought it. Lovely. But they were sprayed silver with a, a rattle can. Yeah, and you've got a new lip on the front, I can yeah, see down that there as well. A, that's the Cupra R1, I think. It's quite a common add on. Much you know, work under the bonnet, or? No, just standard. It's completely standard. Yeah. Real unusual colour. Yeah, I'm told, the guy I bought it off said there was probably 200 sold in Europe and- Really? Yeah, yeah. So it is a factory colour, yes, the Java yeah, Green? Yeah. It, you had the strut brace re-sprayed? Yeah, 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 I see match. that. Fab. Yeah. Well, it looks great, so you've done a great job keeping it like yeah, that. thank you. Now, this is a car that I am very familiar with. I must get at least six voice notes a day on this car from Jules. Then the <laughs> Bit of extra footage. The famous, the famous grey interior. Thanks. Famous. I, didn't know that. I, I can't call it. Because obviously the kids have to watch it. I have to call it silver. It doesn't, it doesn't. I'm just going to ask you, so as the organiser of the event today, how do you feel it's gone? It's gone very well. Yeah, you pleased with it? Absolutely brilliant. Pleased with the turnout? Yeah, well, yeah it's, yeah, it's been very, very good. How many cars do you reckon we had here today? 86. Without counting. 80 80 roughly 86 yeah, cars. Say, yeah, a good 80. Yeah. That's a good turnout. Thank yes. you everyone for coming. Yeah, well, thank you, Jules, for all You're very, very welcome, uh, Because Mr. without Charger. all your hard work over the last few weeks, this wouldn't be possible. Can you tell? <laughs> Nicely done, Jules. Appreciate all your hard You're work. You're welcome. I will see you soon. Thank you. So, this is Axel. And he likes to put up a picture of his tidy paintwork. So <laughs> if we look down there, he's normally got a picture of a bucket in it. Jules has organised the meet actually today, so I want to say a personal thank you for arranging it because it's been a great day so far. So well done, Jules. You've done a great job, mate. Now, I'm not sure where Ben is, but Ben's been a subscriber to the channel almost since the start. And he had a 225 originally, but he's upgraded to a 3.2 DSG Roadster. And it is cracking, and uh, this is the first time I've seen the car. But I'm going to just give you a quick tour around it because it does look great. It's got the QS wheels on it. In fact, Ben's done a few videos on the car himself, a few how to, so do check him out on YouTube. This is a 3.2 Roadster in light metallic silver. I was talking to the guy that owned it earlier. Great looking car. Lovely car, yeah. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for your support, yeah. yeah. No Cheers, buddy. Ooh. A Senna car. Yeah. And Senna belongs to Sean Clegg. 
with a Mark II there. And I've not really got a chance to come and speak to you probably. Shot, yeah, yeah. There were some nice examples of Glacier Blue TTs at the event, including this 225 that belongs to Paula. Colour coded wings, that's 225. Now this has got some great looking wheels on this. Again the A10s, they look much bigger with colour match calipers. 225, nice and clean under the bonnet. As well as cracking wheels, it also had a mini me on the dashboard. And this one is actually for sale. It's a black one. I think it's a 3.2. Yeah, it is a 3.2 for sale. All in black, matching wheels. Now this is Mark's car. Now, this car is known as the £10 TT because he actually won £2,000 on a bet of £10 and this was the result. So well done Mark. You can follow Mark at TT225MHS. Now she's got a Parrot Bro sticker on the back there. Haven't seen the Andy Charger one. Now look at this car. This has had some serious work done. Houses. It's under there. Serious amount of hose work gone under there. What a great looking car. Hello mate. You alright me taking pictures of your car? Yeah, I don't mind. Is that a Votex kit you've got on the front? Is that the front? No, it's an ABT splitter. ABT oh, splitter? Yeah, right, okay. You've had a fair amount of work done to the bonnet as well, I notice. Yeah, yeah. Different seats as well. Another 3.2. Surprising the number of 3.2s here today. Now I'm only halfway up the first line. I've got two more lines to go, guys, so keep tuned. So Mark II. Nice Mark II Roadster in silver. It's worth pointing out there's lots of great grey cars here today as well. We don't normally see this many. Great looking car. TTS, 3.2 Quattro, colour coded walls. Ah, is this, or is this not? I don't think it was, I thought it was, I thought it was, but it was pretending. So it's got the 3.2 Ronals, 3.2 front bumper, but I think it's actually a 225 because it's a manual, so I thought that was our first manual 3.2 i would say today now this has had a bit of work done it's got its uh, bonnet louvers on there keep it nice and cool you're putting me off here i imagine you haven't got much of a problem with cooling on this car no no is this your car is it sir this is right they're both yours very nice i thought you had a 3.2 uh, manual for a moment but it's a 225 is it this one it's 3.2 you hide it with the badges are you You can, you can have a look, even better. Great colour, great colour for a 3.2 this, Mauritius Blue. I know someone else has got one of those. Oh, there you go. So there was me thinking that the uh, you were fooling me without the 3.2 on the back, look at that. The expert has been fooled. Oh, yes. I, I am not an expert, please don't have to call me that. Fabulous. I did think you had a lot of 3.2 bits on it, so it was, uh, yeah, great. How long had the car? Three years. Three years. Three years. Long journey down? Four hours. No, mm. three and a half hours. No, oh, about the same. But it's a straight road. Yeah. Great right looking car. Lovely and clean. This is indeed a manual 3.2 in the best colour. Uh, yeah, so that's um, <laughs> that's got some big old tunes coming out of there, I reckon. So they're both yours, are they? The cars? Yeah, great. But this is a 225, this one, is it? Yeah. Yeah. But you've got had a lot of work done on this one, so. I've seen these lights before actually quite recently on a, another TT, another 225 actually that's had the very same lights, they look that's great, the love those. Yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. Yes. That's one. Fabulous, look at those Again, they, they teens again. Another Mark II. Ada's got a really nice Mark II with a fantastic gurgling exhaust note. So we've got here another Mauritius Blue Roadster. 
manual. I think it must be a 225. I spotted this new owner on Facebook on Saturday and I invited them along to the meet. I was really pleased to see that they attended and I really hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's a big set of wheels. It's very, um, I don't know, it has a look of, of a Lamborghini wheel or something that does. It's, it's deep dish. A bit of lack of pill there. That's what happens if you paint your grills, guys. On to Wayne's car now. Wayne's 3.2. What colour blue is it, Wayne? Moro blue. Moro blue. Have a look inside though. Yeah. To the other side. Is that side a little bit uh, <laughs> what we got? Oh, you've had a new steering wheel put on. Look at that. That's got some serious work. Another Mark II. V6. It's great. Nice and low. Sounds lovely. Very lovely. It's a bit 225 here or might even be a 180. It might sound strange, but 180s and 225s in my head, they have a bit of a look. So I'm pretty sure that is a 180, might be well. But wow, how low is this running? I presume this is on air ride because it, if that's not an air ride and that's that low, that must do some serious rubbing. There's a young man over there filming as well. So this must be on air ride. <laughs> yeah. Well, that might be the answer to my question. So I'm here with Simon's air ride car. We just seen it go up there. It's really low a moment ago. You can see how that's sitting now. It's turned into a four by four. Seriously low. So when it's right down like that, can you still drive that or does it actually yeah. rub? So it's can't, can't. Yeah. So it's literally sitting on the side. It's a bit of a security device. Uh, now you won't be able to drive that. Now. Uh, well, you would, but it'd rub a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. So it's just literally yeah. pulling on the There's lineup. No shots. Oh, another one for sale. So there seems to be a few cars here for sale. 3.2, 134 on it. 4.3. So if you're looking to get into the TT market, it gives you an idea really for a 3.2 what you're looking at. So you're looking currently looking at 4.3 or nearest offer. 3.2, one more just arriving or leaving maybe. Right, so here we have a colour very familiar to me again, Mauritius Blue. This is obviously a 225 manual now at these events you normally see uh, plenty of silver cars because silver is very common but I've never seen this many Mauritius blue cars so it makes me feel quite at home today there's a few reds over here so I think this might be I'm not sure if that's the ABT splitter or that's the Votex front splitter on that didn't realize, was didn't realize there was a passenger in the car. Oh, All right, so it's got the, oh, it's the full Votex kit by the look of it, I think. So it's got the Votex rear spoiler and rear balance. It's good. Oh, I think we might have a Quattro Sport right here. Yeah, yeah. Which is uh, lovely looking in red, color coded wheels with the uh, deep dish and the spats, rear seat delete, matching colour coded front pole positions, looking great, black roof, great car, oh, and I think we might be parked up alongside another one, two Quattro Sports together, look at that, Yeah, yeah. great looking cars, am I going to meet the owner, oh what number, oh 79, that answers that question, well, 79 of 800, yeah, it's under here. Very shiny and blingy. You the proud owner? Yeah. Andy, nice to meet you, all right? I'm all right, Andy. Lovely Quattro Sport. Any problems with it? Yeah, it's been fine. Very A few little upgrades. Took the Cooper R brakes uh, and M-Tech this. Uh, nice. Did them a couple of years ago. Uh, and then polished up the, the bits and bobs. Yeah. 
Car number 79. Do we know what other numbers we've got here as well? No, uh, You're all parked up together. Yeah, five, five, one, four. I don't know what names is. Be a mission to try and track down as many of the ones that are still on the road as possible. There's, and a, there's a few people actually do that on the, yeah. on the uh, Quattro Sport page. <laughs> oh, Aviator Grey, Felix, this is your, uh, is this your car? Yeah, it's mine, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Are you video? Big old, I am indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You alright for me video, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Look at those, uh, they can't be 18s, they look yeah. huge! They look massive, they look like 19s under there. Right. Not a lot of clearance though, you've had that yeah. lowered, yeah? Yeah, 40 mil on that, and um, all suspension's new. The only thing I haven't done is the top mounts. I know everyone goes on about the gap, but there's I can no see that. Nothing. Yeah, I can see that. Do you know what? I'd not even Steven. known about that until there's a video yesterday by yeah, Stephen yeah. Harper where he was actually replaced his top mounts yeah, yeah. and he was showing how you get his thumb underneath it. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's not knocking, it's not banging, it's past its MOT for two well, years with them, so I've just left them. But it's the important everything thing. else is brand new. Yeah, it looks everything. in great nick. And, and seeing it in. See, so have you got the. Um, are they the wider wheel arches you've had fitted no. there? No? Are they look. So there's a. Uh, the aviated grey one I saw on Thursday that had a set of aftermarket wheel arches put in. Yeah, There's yeah, a German yeah. company that supplied them, yeah, yeah. and they look really wide. Yeah, yeah. And they also look like they were bolted like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, that's some. Um, yeah, yeah, you know. cracking, mate. Yeah, cheers, cracking yeah. car. I think you did the right thing, staying away from that 3.2 and picking this up because it is a <laughs> lovely car. Cheers. Cheers. Have a look inside. Open it. Oh, I will do. Yeah. That's all right. Look at that. Lovely and clean. All right. Great. Thanks, Felix. So we're on to. So this is, I think this is another Quattro Sport. Unusual to see a black Quattro Sport because one of the features is they have the black roof. So this has got a black roof and a black body. So you can't really tell it's a Quattro Sport other than the great features it's got in it, which include. Obviously the black tipped exhaust, the great wheels and the pole positions and the rear seat delete. Although, this might have the comfort seat. Well, I, better, I won't open it because the guy's not here. I don't want to start opening people's cars. That's, that's an auto. But yeah, but it has got the comfort seats so though rather than the pole positions, which I think were a, a factory option if I remember rightly. Nestled in amongst all of the Mark 1s and Mark 2s, there were a couple of Mark 3s, including Amelia's fabulous black S-Line edition and this lovely red one. Now I think this might be denim, well it will be denim blue on that number plate, although it looks like Mauritius blue, it's actually denim this colour. It's probably a 224, maybe a 180 on those wheels, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the back. It's a 180. I've definitely got a nose for this game now, you know. I think this might be... The light's failing me a bit, but I think that's Moro Blue again. 225. Another roadster. I think that might be Jason Dixon's car. Well, now look, this is uh, got a series of wing on the back of it. TT in it. Throw that guy on Insta by the look of it. Big rims sitting really low. I think it might, it might be an air ride or it's pretty close to needing air ride. Serious work done on that. Cracking looking car. This is the second time that I've seen Darren's car and I'm yet to speak to him and talk about some of these fantastic modifications. Oh, I did like the, uh, the Lego caps on there. Nice little touch. And that looks like it'd be more at home on the airfield. Now I'm not sure what. Is this Kingfisher Blue? I think it must be Kingfisher. Well, that's got some blingy old orangey bronze wheels on it. It's hard to tell what colour it is. I think it is black, but it almost looks like a bit brown when it gets those wheels. But it is black. Matching strut brace there, I see. Now these wheels, my car had these wheels I think when we got it and I swapped them out because I put mine back to factory. Great red leather interior. Now that, um, that back seat would suit the wife actually, it's the leopard skin back seat. This four here as well. Oh look, there's a noggy for sale. So there you go guys, if you're looking to pick up a noggy and get into the noggy world. 
Momento, saiu. Oh, and another noggy, not for sale. But again, with those same wheels. T25, I believe. The battery needs to charge up. I don't know about anything else. Well, I can sort that out. Absolutely. You have to appear on TT Meets TT, and I'll give you a pair. Sport. Basically, the guy the guy raised it up, they split. Oh, well, well done in. Again, it's black, not double black, so black roof, black body. So it's unusual to see if so that's two black Quattro Sports I've seen today. TTS here. Not two. Oh, Mr. Parrot's car. One we know very well. And one that I actually confused Jason Casey's car with the other day. So, oh, what's this? Which one will go best with my car? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a poll. Which colour stick will go best with my car from Dom's collection? Should I go for orange, black, yellow, blue, green or blue? Maybe I'll take one of each. I think blue would go best with mine. Yeah. Cheers, Dom. I'll wear it with pride. Lovely grey great car here as well. Two, two, five. Great. Right, that's two rows down, one to go. So this is a row of very familiar cars to me. So we're going to start off with Alex's great Noggy 225. Always in great condition. Lots of great features. Then we'll move on to Car Chris's Mark II. So those of you that follow Car Chris, then you know this car very well. And if not, make sure you give him a follow on YouTube. Next, we've got Neil's great 225. Now, obviously, Neil and Alex's car are a pair. Different colour, but they are a pair. They're done together. Lots of very similar features. Now, Darren joined us not too far away today. So Darren jumped on maybe about 25 miles away. So this is his great 3.2. Lovely car. Another car that's featured on the channel on TT Meets TT is Howard 3.2. And as I've mentioned, we've done the same miles, the same journey. I've got half a tank of fuel left. Howard's got down, or well, Howard is down to the red. Either he's got a heavy right foot or one of us has got a bad fuel gauge. Oh, this is a very familiar car to me. Oh, it's got a great passenger in there. There's a rocket in my passenger seat. Is this your car? Yes. It's very nice. Just keeping warm. Oh, just keeping warm. Is it cold? I'm not cold. There's a, there's a sticker there for you. How's your How's your day going? Are you enjoying your first TT meet? Very good. Are you enjoying it, yeah? yeah? Is that why you're sitting in the car? I'm just warming up. Okay then. It's a nice car you've got there anyway. Thanks. I'd buy it if I didn't already own it. <laughs> and then we're on to Simon's car. Now Simon's car has been filmed for the channel, but it is yet to feature, and I will be putting that on the channel in the next couple of weeks. So this is Simon's 225. He's got a couple of TTs uh, between himself and his son, Jordan. They've got the Quattro Sport wheels, all in silver. Great looking car. Now, what have we got here? One that's probably driven through the Sahara Desert like mine has today, I think. So we've got a 225 in black, tinted windows. <laughs> Another 225 Roadster. In black, does it say? Tasmanian devil inside, huh? Interesting. Lovely car, two piece wheels, a lot of pieces. Now look, what have we got going on here? Look at this TTRS, wow, has come to show us all up. I think this must be wrapped. I'm presuming it's wrapped. Even though it's had a cracking spray job. Carbon rear wing, that's great. Wow. <laughs> Again, I think I think this has had a wrap also. There's some there are some telltale signs you can see on it on a wrap where they've been you can see the underneath paintwork has been covered over. Now this is a got some 3.2 parts on it, this car. It's Quattro Sport wheels. It is a roadster. It's very customised. 
225? Yes. Yeah. I was, it's got a lot of bits from lots of different ones. It's a Quattro it's, Sport wheels, 3.2 uh, rear diffuser and rear spoiler and front, so, but 225 engine, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Looks very nice though. Thank You've done you. Done a great job. Thank you. And you've got the spats as well, carbon fibre spats, is that? Yeah, got a little bit of damage right. on that one. Oh, Somebody... right. Oh, we'll film that bit instead. There you go. <laughs> How long you had the car? Uh, about seven years. Yeah. Collecting sort of rare parts yeah, from yeah. all over. Back bumper, wheels. yeah, mud flaps. Oh yeah, they're back bumpers, obviously a US import. Uh, red lights. Yeah, trying to find loads of different pieces. I've just literally picked up yesterday a U engine cover. Right. Just for the top, obviously. Nice. Yeah, put some yeah. Seats pots. are quite unusual as well. It's not, it was just saying, it's not everybody's cup of tea in purple, but I quite like it. Just sort of... Gives it, I think it, gives, I think for, it, it goes with the car, I think, quite well. You've got so many... Um, odd. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but they complement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, they complement us. I think yeah. it works well with the purple. I'm quite a fan of the purple. I think if you had a purple Merlin car with purple seats, it might be too much. Bit much. Yeah, but I think they look great. Yeah, I've, nice I've, one. I've seen what so certain people's cool. comics are with front bumper. Cause yeah, because it's different colour. Well, yeah. I managed to get these as well. I don't see. I managed oh, to get right. them from America. A guy in America. Right. They're off US spec headlights. Okay. But I'd obviously with these reflectors on side. Yeah. But, it's so only in America. And yeah. This sort of not again not with his cup of tea. But I'm just a bit. I've left the front bumper purposely. Right. Because I think it sort of goes. And I don't know what. Be, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's um, like chalk and cheese. Yeah. People have said, hey, well, no, I don't like that. I think it looks the way like that you've got the, the headlight um, covers, it makes it realise you've done it purposely. You've yeah. sort the front end out. Yeah. But I think no, I think it works well. It's just flattered off. Right. Loving your videos, by the oh, way. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. You've got cool. course, purpose on there as well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Big old set of discs on that. I put cup box 300 mil discs on back as well. Right. Because it looks a bit unbalanced. Yeah. It looks a bit massive on front and then backs looked a little well, bit. Well, I think the, tiny. the backs always look smaller than them anyway. They yeah. just look so minuscule. That, but... you, can, you know, it's a good example. I've never seen one at side of another one, so I can see the difference now between yeah. them. One next door, perhaps. He's got them as well. Oh, no, he hasn't. Yeah, so they look, compared to the front, the back calipers are just like yeah. literally, they're yeah. like midgets. Yeah, you've done a good job, mate. Thank you ever so much. Oh, cheers, Scott. Yeah, all right, Andy. Oh, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Again, we've got another 225 with red seats. Mark two. He's only sitting at home in his like this. Well, that's a very interesting rear diffuser we've got on there. Something a bit different. Sussex Trade Centres. It's not come up from Sussex, this car, is it? No. No, it's your car. This is right. your one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, it looks all right, mate. It might have come from Sussex originally. originally. I think it's from North East originally. Yeah. And then... So you've done a significant amount of work under this bonnet, haven't you? Because you've... Um, well, not the like engine you can blew tell. Up. <laughs> not like you can tell you when you look at it, it. it's all inside. Six, seven months, it went bang. Yeah. So how many miles has this particular engine mate, got on it? Now, yeah. this one has done... Previous, before I got it, second hand, I don't know. Yeah. But I've done... 2,000 mile in it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's still so quite, still running it in almost. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. It's, uh, no, but it's been all right. Good. Well, there's enough of us here today if we need any help. <laughs> so. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Black Roadster. There's some gunmetal alloys. Looks like it's a 180, I think, this one. Yeah, Might even be a 150. Now, this one's got some very interesting uh, alloys on it. It's got a roll cage, lime, uh, electric, what would we class that as? Electric lime green wheels. Some big old bonnet scoops. You're not going to have to worry about cooling on this car by the look of it. it should keep nice and cool. It's got the it's got the turret eye in case you get into trouble. A Moro Blue 225. They do look nice. I do like the Moro Blues. They are a cracking car. And then we've come to the end of the line. I think I can't see any other 225s around. So. I'm going to have a count up of how many cars we've got, but this is a, it's a red 225 convertible. It looks lovely in red, no lack appeal, great condition paint, cracking. Right, so I'm going to go back and see Craig. Here he is standing by his car, young Craig. Craig, good to see you again, buddy. So Craig is a, has been a subscriber for some time. We have conversed a bit offline as well, and this is his great 3.2. There were a few bits he was looking for when we first got in touch and he asked me if I could put him in touch with someone, which I did do and luckily he's come up with some goods. But what Craig has actually done for me today is he's come through with the goods 
from one of my other videos and come up with the dog bone and the and the tweezers from another toolkit. So I am really grateful to Craig because he has really sorted me out there. So let's have a good look over Craig's car. So what have you done to it since you've had it? Uh, well, I haven't done. What uh, you haven't done? Me it's, mechanically, it's mechanically, uh, fuel pump, major service, spark, spark plugs, coilovers. Uh, it's had the DSG gearbox service, had the Haldex service, um, new shock absorbers at the back. Discs, pads all round, non mechanically, headlight washers, new headlights, screen jet washers, window wipers, fuel um, controls inside, heated seat controls. So it's safe to say you've spent a fair <laughs> amount of money yeah, on this car. Um, it's down to your great recommendation for Mark Stanley breaking in wheels, uh, the uh, T25 screws in the back. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We sorted you out on that. Yeah. Mark came through, so it well did. done, Mark, for that, for coming through. Uh, yeah, and still things to do. Uh, wheels need refurbing. Obviously, a lovely key mark in the passenger door. see door. that, yeah, we talked about that key mark, because I wondered if it was just surface, but it's actually been pushed in, so whoever yeah. did that, thanks for doing that. It's yeah. just what you don't want. Yeah, so we mentioned, didn't we, about the... The, the usual place these seem to go, yeah. they tend to go there, and there's a little bit on the, the back sill as well, but we said it's probably best to take that sill off completely yeah. and uh, address what's underneath, so when you put the new sill back on, you don't have that same problem. Yeah, uh, new back seats as well. New back seats, what was wrong with the old ones? Uh, they were just scuffed. Oh, okay, um, so you managed yeah, to get hold of a red one okay, did yeah, you? Yeah, managed to. Um, I'd imagine that back seats are easier to get hold of than front seats because so many people do rear yeah, seat deletes, you know? exactly. Um, it was the boot, I, oh, that's another thing, I've done all the boot liner inside. Obviously, red door card as well. New struts. Oh, new struts. <laughs> the uprated ones yeah. for the for the coupe, obviously, because yeah. they uh, need to have a bit more strength in them. Exactly. All right, nice one, Craig. Yeah, Thank nice you, buddy. One. Thank you. Here are some stills from the day that I feel captures the mood and the great cars that were on display. I know there are plans to hold another meet here in the near future and Jules will once again be organising it. I think we can all agree he did a great job sorting this pitch out for us all and personally giving me the opportunity to speak to so many of you face to face. Again, sorry if I never got a chance to speak to you about your great car but hopefully you will see your car in here somewhere. Please do feel free to come up to me and grab me for a chat if you want to talk about your car as I am only too happy to chat TTs. The Motorist as a venue is somewhere I would highly recommend visiting, particularly if you are local and like looking at all sorts of cars. There is also a bar, a cafe and a restaurant. There is also some vintage cars on display in the cafe. I would like to know your thoughts on The Motorist and this meet. What was your favourite car on display? What did you think of the venue? Would you like to attend the next meet here at The Motorist? Well please do leave me a comment below. If you would like to leave me some feedback on this or any other of my back catalogue of Audi TT Mark 1 videos then please do also leave me a comment below. So that's really it for all the cars here today. I've had a great walk around, seen all these lovely cars. There literally are, I don't know, I'm going to have a count up, but I think there's probably getting over 40 or 50 cars. So, as always, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do give this video a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel if you've not already done so, where you'll find a whole host of content on the Audi TT. Thanks again for watching, see you soon. Take care.